Hello guys, welcome once again to Case Money Matters. This is the travel series. We talk about money and travel. Basically for those who love traveling or for those who love to do other things but they feel sometimes because of finances they are not able to do them. This is an opportunity to be encouraged to know that you can do every single thing you love but still manage to track your finances and manage to meet your financial goals and manage to invest as much as possible. So welcome back once again to my people. I'm going to show you a trip to Milan. Uh, this was in February 2020, just before the corona mess. And I actually left Milan immediately before the lockdown. Very funny story. So it was an interesting visit. I had fun in Milan. The whole coronavirus thing had not really gone crazy in Europe, so people were still free to travel. So I managed to travel back to London without any issues. And uh, when I came back to London, Italy was locked. And it really got crazy out of that. A few weeks after we traveled, it just got crazy. You couldn't leave Italy, you, could, you couldn't get into Italy. People couldn't leave their houses. So basically, I was lucky as usual. Um, so it is a very interesting video. I'm going to show you snapshots of a very wonderful town, Milan. Milan is an amazing place. If you get the opportunity or the chance, please visit the place. It's an amazing place, very nice people, very warm people. So guys, guys, feel free to visit Milan. We're going to watch the snapshots, which I do make like a video in a form of a video. And then we'll come back and look at the expenses. How much did it actually cost me? And like I always say, don't focus so much on what I spent. Focus on your situation and how much you can actually spare to spend on the things that you love. So once again, guys, welcome back and let's dive into it.
Welcome back. I hope that was fun. I hope you enjoyed the video, stock snapshots. Now let's dive in and look at how much it actually cost me, the flight, the accommodation, the food, the fun stuff, uh, maybe car park, taxi, anything related to traveling so that you can see actually how much it will cost you if you're in Europe. And of course, you can also see how much, you know, it is possible to actually travel to these places. So let's dive in, guys. Let's look at my spreadsheet. Basically, let's now look at some of the expenses I had. I had the flight, of course, and I have accommodation, I have food, I have fun stuff, like crazy, crazy stuff, you know. Then I have things like taxi, and uh, maybe sometimes I do park my car at the airport, so I do include those expenses as well to give you a full picture. And I also include uh, local transportation. So sometimes we use the trains, local trams, local buses, and you pay for transport in Milan. We kind of, hmm, skype that a bit, you know. <laughs> we went around it somehow. Uh, anyway, so let's dive into the spreadsheet. As you can see, I spent 70 pounds. Uh, on the flight, we were two people, so that means £35 each person, that's quite affordable actually. Think about traveling, £35 return from London, Milan and back. So 72 people, that was really good. So £35 each person, that made it £70. And then accommodation cost me around £92, so averagely £100 most of the time. A good house, we were alone, very private, very nice, spacious. Uh, you saw me cooking, so it had very nice appliances, a nice place basically, very cozy. We had fun, we enjoyed the place. Besides accommodation, of course, you look at food, which cost around £50. Um, of course, buying stuff in Milan, I did not carry anything from London. The fun stuff cost us around £20. These are just some of the easy stuff, like ice cream, for example, or, you know, you buy some kind of necklace or, you know, or, or postcards and stuff like that, 20 pounds, average, not exact figure. So again, you should remember that car park cost us around 30 pounds. We went with the car to the airport and we parked it there for the number of days we were away. So guys, that's it. I hope it inspired you to travel or start thinking how much you actually need to travel. That is the purpose of the videos. Thank you guys and see you next time.